Hey guys, I hope everyone is okay. Uh, I kind of thought since we are building a really nice community on this channel around jazz and jazz fans and the Dr. Jazz Talks interviews, I would like to introduce a new topic, which is like some of the best jazz albums of all times. And, uh, you know, just to present some albums that probably deserve more recognition than they get or are in a way also underrated. Of course, I mean, we're talking about the best selling jazz albums, but then we have some records, which I think deserve way more recognition, you know, from artists like Eric Dolphy or Booker Little or, you know, Herbie Nichols, uh, Andrew Hill. I, I really want to go through all these amazing artists and uh, uh, especially I want to hear your opinions about it and, uh, you know, why a record is special for you. I mean, and I'll start with a record today that's I think one of my favorites of all time which is of course Out to Lunch by Eric Dolphy from 1964 and uh, as you know you know I did last year a solo acoustic guitar record of Eric Dolphy's compositions basically I transcribed all of his you know tunes and made lead sheets and kind of made arrangements for solo acoustic guitar so I really dug into Eric's music and uh, I think one of the first albums actually I heard was uh, Out to Lunch, like when I was a teenager. And, uh, you know, for those of you who don't know the album, I think it's one of the most avant-garde albums, definitely considering the time when it was, uh, you know, produced. And uh, first, if we just take a look at the band, you know, you have Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, one of the greats, and Freddie played with Eric already on his debut album Outward Bound and you know was featured also on Ornette's uh, Free Jazz album together with Eric and then you have Bobby Hutcherson probably the best or one of the best uh, vibe players you know on the planet and an amazing composer by the way and again you know Bobby and Eric participated together on Iron Man and Conversations via albums by Eric and uh, and the rhythm section you know Richard Davis, one of the greats, again, uh, on the bass, who played so much with Eric. And on drums, I think, on this one, I think he was only 18, Tony Williams, of course. At the time, he was a member of Miles' uh, quintet already. And, uh, you know, what he plays on this album is quite different than what he does on Miles' albums. And uh, he kind of, you know, pushes this record really further ahead and... Uh, so I think the band already and the interaction of the band makes this album really special out to lunch. If you just listen how everyone, you know, kind of interacts and plays with each other. And then you have this fantastic, of course, sense of freedom, freedom within the compositions. And uh, it's that that's why I think it's one of the greatest albums of all times and uh, quite also underrated in a sense. I don't know. I really want to hear your opinion about that. Uh, and uh, if we talk about the music on this one, you know, I really love the tunes. And I think Eric Dolph is, again, you know, strength as a composer is really underrated. You know, people usually play on jam sessions tunes by Monk or, you know, like kind of the Broadway tunes and musical tunes and improvise on them. While very rarely we improvise on Dolphy's music, which is a shame, you know. And this album contains some amazing music, like Eric wrote five tunes. We we have Head and Beard first, a beautiful tune dedicated to Monk. Then one of the best ballads I've heard, you know, when I transcribed this for my solo record, uh, I was amazed by the beauty of this tune and the melody, something sweet and something tender. Uh, really a beautiful lyrical aspect of this group, of this quintet by Eric. And uh, then you have Gazzaloni, fantastic flute work featuring of course Eric and then the last two tunes which uh, you know and then after Gazzaloni of course we have Out to Lunch which you know again has this uh, sense of freedom which I already talk, talked about before and you know the rhythm section really connects and kind of has this pulse all over the tune and the record sense with Straight Up and Down which is beautiful you know Eric's solo on that one is just amazing and uh, you know, all these things, of course, the album is included in the Penguin's Guide to Jazz Core Collection, and it received five stars on all music and all the other, uh, you know, media. But I still think if we compare it to some records that 
usually people talk about. I think it divers, d- deserves more recognition. And um, anyway, guys, this is the first one to start with. I, I will definitely continue probably with Andrew Hill, one of his records. I'm a big fan of Andrew's. And But I really want to hear your opinion about How to Lunch, you know, write down the comments down there and, uh, you know, let's talk about this one a little bit. So cheers, guys. Ciao.